For a while now, I've been on a quest to become one of the most evil players on the server. And while doing so, I've done all sorts of things. Like trying my hardest to ban an entire team, as well as blowing up someone's entire base in front of them and then killing them. However, nothing I've done previously can compare to what I'm about to do. Because today, I'm going to take down my biggest enemy, Leo Wook, using a glitch that will destroy this server beyond recovery. So, in order for this all to make sense, I need to tell you about the Lifesteal SMP. It's a server where every time you kill someone, you steal one of their hearts, and when you run out of hearts, you get banned. The other day, my teammates and I banned a player known as Leo Wook, my biggest enemy, and when he died, he dropped all his items along with five hearts. A few nights after this, he was revived, and we were able to find and kill him again. And to our surprise, he dropped five hearts along with all the gear he dropped last time, now creating two sets of Leo Wook's inventory. And I immediately knew that this could only mean one thing, that there was a way to duplicate items on the server. And the key to doing this was by losing your final heart and banning yourself. So to find out more, we decided to ban our friend Mavic and see what would happen. And after losing his final heart, he dropped all his items like normal and was banned off the server. But when he was revived, he came back with all of the exact same items, meaning that there was now two sets of Mavic's gear and that duplication was entirely possible. So now the only question left was, what should we do with this power? Because now we had access to infinite items, infinite hearts, infinite wealth. We were now the richest players on the server and also practically immortal because we could never run out of hearts. We were unstoppable and now the only question left was what do we do now? And for me, the answer was unbelievably obvious. I wanted to use this power to crush Leo Wook and his organization known as the APO. You see, ever since Leo Wook's been revived, he's been trying to scam players into joining his organization, trading them maxed out gear and in return receiving their loyalty. And he was using this organization to take over the server. Which not only was a pretty bad thing to do, but it also got in the way of my team's plans, which was to take over the server. However, that's not really something we can do because Leo Wook's now already done that. So now, I figured the only option left was to take down Leo Wook. And when I told this to my teammates, they were more than down. So to start our mission of taking down Leo Wook and the APO, we began working on a vault in order to hide all of our duped items. Now this vault needed to be as hidden as possible because if any player found this, all of us would be banned from the server. So to make sure the vault was as hidden as possible, we built it thousands of blocks away from spawn on the nether roof. From there, we began duplicating items for hours on end, and then sorting it in all of these barrels, which ended up taking more time than you would ever believe. But in the end, it was worth it, as we now had a very well-organized vault for us to get any items we ever wanted. It was amazing. It was like being in creative mode, but in survival. Anyways, by the time we were done with all the vault stuff, I was called for a meeting with the APO. This entire time, I've been posing as an APO member, so every time there is a meeting, I still have to attend. So I left the vault to go to Leo Wick's base and sit down for a meeting. However, as soon as I got there, I couldn't help but notice that there was one more APO member than usual, a player named Parrot, whose alignments recently have been a mystery. What made this really weird is that the APO had a maximum member count of seven, meaning that Leo wasn't allowed to add anybody if we had seven members. So if Parrot was here, that means somebody has been kicked out of the APO. And I wouldn't be surprised if that person was me, as I've been spending the last week cutting down APO members. On top of that, Leo Wook had a sitting down in minecarts, and if I know anything about Leo, he loves trying his hardest to trap people. So there was a 90% chance that I was sitting above a trap right now. And a few seconds after making that connection, Leo Wook told us that there was a mole in the APO. However, instead of accusing me, he accused Planet Lord. And I immediately knew this was an attempt to put me into a false sense of security. So the second Planet Lord got up from his chair, I switched into his seat. As soon as I did this, Leo began cracking under the pressure. So Parrot had to step in and tell Planet Lord to sit back down. When he did, he asked me to go back to my seat as well. I was now 100% certain that I was sitting above a trap right now. At this current moment, my heart was racing. Parrot started mumbling about the true identity of the mole, and I knew exactly what that meant. This was it. This was the moment. I was about to get trapped. If I were to escape, I'd have to fight through seven people completely on my own. Luckily, my teammates were waiting for me on the other side of the nether just in case anything went wrong. Nevertheless, this was the moment. Leo began making a break for my chair with a shovel in hand. I'm not surprised. 
After nearly passing out from all the stress, we were now fighting at Leo's base just like we planned. You see, the main reason Leo Wook has so many allies is because he's buying all of their loyalty with armor sets. So if we successfully destroyed his entire base, he wouldn't have the resources to make any new armor, which would in turn make most of the players on his side eventually quit on him. However, if we wanted to make sure this works, we had to defend our teammate Spoke while he blew up Leo's entire base. And this was going to be really hard because the APO members outnumbered us, and on top of that, Spoke doesn't wear any pants. So he's like a three shot. Luckily, I was doing a really good job holding off subs, but unfortunately, Rochambeau got quick dropped by Leo Wook. And just a little bit later, Mavic also fell to the APO. Defending Spoke and distracting the APO members was now solely left up to me. However, if I was able to buy enough time, Ro and Mavic would be able to re gear at the vault and then come back and help us fight. So all I had to do was just survive a little bit longer and eventually Ro and Mavic would be back. But things really weren't looking good for me because there were three people on me at all times and my armor was on the verge of breaking. And by the time I used my last stack of XP bottles, Spoke had finished blowing up the base and went to meet Mapic and Ro halfway in order to help them gear up faster. Now I only had to survive a little bit longer, but before I knew it, my helmet was broken and I was dying. But right as I thought it was all over, Rochambeau came to the base and started backing me up. However, we were still outnumbered and things weren't looking good as my chest plate was about to break too. And after a very long drawn out battle, the enemies trapped me in cobwebs around a bunch of trees, broke my chest plate, and fired finally killed me. Afterwards, they all scattered in different directions and left the area. The APO may have defeated us, but in the end, our mission was completed, and both sides knew that this was just the beginning of a very long war. So with our first mission in the quest to stopping the APO completed, it was time for us to move on to our second mission, which was to show the APO just how powerful we were, all with the hopes of making them surrender and hopefully disbanding their team. Now, if we wanted to show them how powerful we were, we needed to do so without outright telling them that we were duping, but instead making them come to that conclusion entirely on their own. So to string them on a little bit, we decided to go to one of their most secret bases and then spawn trap literally every single bed in the vicinity, and then leave 15 netherite blocks in a chest with a message saying 20 more for Leo Wook's ban. Now, I know that wasn't outright saying that we were duping, but oh my god, that wasn't subtle at all. Anyways, what we did at that base had the APO trembling because the next day they were asking literally everyone on the server if they knew anything about us duping. And one of the people they decided to ask was Terrain, an ally of ours. So the second he got a DM from the APO, he decided to tell us and we told him exactly what to say in order to scare the APO the the most. And he could say for certain that by the end of their call, Leo Wook, along with the rest of the APO, were not only scared, but convinced that we were duping. Quick little disclaimer, since there's no physical evidence of us duping, they had no way of actually banning us. So as long as the vault was hidden, we were completely fine. Anyways, now that our enemies were filled with despair, it was time for us to finish off our second mission by drawing them to spawn and then killing them. However, we weren't just going to be killing them normally. We were going to be doing so while using stacks upon stacks of god apples. You see, if we were to fight our enemies while using god apples, it would basically convince anyone who had any doubts about us duping into believing that we were duping, which would in turn make them even more scared of us and more likely to surrender and disband their team. So in order to get our enemies to spawn, we decided to hatch a little plan, which involved pretending to take Terrain hostage and threatening to ban him. However, before we were even able to set up the spawn trap, I couldn't help but notice an envious person trying to rob us, who was none other than the man himself, Leo Wook. And shortly after taking care of him, three other APO members began approaching us with the hopes of avenging their boss. However, little did they know, they were all walking into their deaths. What's up, Logan? He's got this. Nice. Up to ups. Accept the death push. What? Uh, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Okay. Hey guys, I'm on red alone. Me and Ro are on subs. I got it. Hold up. Get him. Idea. Get him. Get him. He's up. He's up. Nice. He's chugging gaps. He potted me. Lava. Frozen lava? Nah, he's done. Yeah, this is the end of you subs. I'm sorry. Done, that was him. <laughs> now he's done. He's taking it. Let's 
stuff. After all of our fighting, Radunes and Woogie managed to get away. On top of that, Leo and Spoke were having a meeting in the middle of our fight, where Leo essentially said that he wasn't afraid of us and was going to stop at nothing until he found our vault and got all of us banned. And after saying all of this, he tried assassinating Spoke, which didn't really go too well for him. But the main takeaway here is that Leo and his team are actively searching for our vault now. And the first place they were guaranteed to check was the nether, so in retaliation, we began searching for them. Someone in this, someone in this, someone in this, someone in this, on me, on me, on me, on me, in nether. On my way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Parrot, it's Parrot. Parrot's banned. Oh! 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 So, um, Parrot was banned. Yeah, apparently this entire time, he just was playing on one heart. So the second Mapic hit him while he was in this, he kind of just went like... You know what else is blowing up? My YouTube channel for whatever reason. You guys got me to like 200k subscribers and oh my god, I am so thankful. Like genuinely, I can't thank you all enough. However, I still need to ask you guys to subscribe because me and my friend Wembu are in a sub race to a million subscribers and he is beating us so bad. So yeah, sorry, but I really need to ask you guys to subscribe, please. Anyways, back to the plot. It was clear to us that the APO didn't care that we were duping items and still wanted to fight us. As a matter of fact, now that they knew we were duping, they wanted to stop us even more. I mean, Leo said it himself. They were going to stop at nothing until they found our vault and got us banned. And after a little bit of discussion, my teammates and I decided that we've messed around with the APO enough and it's time we finally finish them off. It was time for us to use our last resort. It was time for us to begin mission three. This was going to be the biggest thing that we've done so far and would be leaving an impact on the surfer that was so massive that it was practically irreversible. You see, one of the APO's main beliefs was to uphold and protect Spawn, going as far as to build a glass dome around it. So in order to hit them where it hurt the most, we were going to destroy all of Spawn right in front of them. We were going to show them just how useless and pathetic their stupid team was. We were going to show them the power gap between our two teams. And lastly, we were going to show them exactly why our team should be the ones in charge of the server and not theirs. And we we're going to achieve all of this by unleashing thousands of withers upon spawn. Oh my god, there's so many of them, bro. They can pull away. There's, 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 there's like 10 on me. There are 10 on me. Oh my gosh, dude, I can't hear anything. Bro, I'm literally floating. Oh my gosh, and now they're all here, dude. <laughs> You're gone. No matter how hard the APO members tried stopping us, the Withers were already spawned and they could do nothing but watch as the entire server they cared for was taken from them. And after it was all said and done, the APO assured us that this wasn't over and that they were going to spend the entire night searching for our vault. However, we weren't going to let that happen. My teammates and I were tired of this war, and we wanted to finally put it to an end. And the only ending we deemed fit was the ending where the APO disbands itself. So we came up with one last move. One that would put Leo and the entire APO into checkmate one last time. You see, the APO's only goal at this moment was to find our vault and get all of us banned. So if we got rid of our vault, we'd also be getting rid of their only goal, which would then render their team completely useless, giving them no choice but to disband. So that night, we gave Leowook an offer. If he were to disband the APO, we would show him our vault and then destroy everything with him. And after a little bit of back and forth, Leowook agreed. And just a little bit later, we all set out to the vault and began destroying everything. Every single barrel, all of which were filled to the brim with duped items, were now all burnt. Everything in the vault was blown up or destroyed in some way or another. The vault was completely destroyed and in the end there was nothing left it was time for us to start a new era an era without duped items an era without the apo and lastly an era where my team owned spawn and leo wooks didn't at the end of it all the war was over and my team came out on top spawn was free for the taking and we could finally have it to ourselves just like we always wanted leo wook was finally defeated i had won and at long last i was finally at peace or at least, that's how I wish it was. Throughout this entire war, I've had a big issue that I've been keeping secret. 
and that's the fact that I can't stand duped items. Something about them just creates a massive power imbalance. It's allowed us to go into battle countless times without fearing any consequences. And now that the war was over, I was glad to be rid of it. However, my teammates weren't. They decided to keep dupe stashes around the server, all so that they could continue using duped items for the rest of the season. And something about that just didn't sit right with me. And as soon as I made that realization, a bunch of other things started coming to mind. I began looking back at everything I've done since I joined Mavic and Rose team, and I was filled with regret. All because of my actions, this server has been destroyed beyond repair. Duped items were being passed around left and right. Spawn and all of the areas around it were now just massive craters. I've destroyed multiple bases just for the fun of it. I've ruined this entire server. I felt as if everything that's happened on the server was entirely my fault. I felt the weight of the world. I felt completely alone. And I felt like I needed to do something, anything to make up for what I've done. And that's when I got an idea. Mapic gave me the locations of all the dupe stashes. So if I went to all of them and took them for myself, I could destroy them and save the server from duped items. And after a lot of contemplating, eventually I decided to go through with it. I felt awful. Awful, but at the same time, I felt like this was the only way to make up for what I've done. For the sake of the server, I was going to betray my closest friends. I felt horrible while doing this to them, but after all the awful things I've done to literally everybody on the server, the bases I've destroyed, the withers I've spawned, the players I've killed, finally, I'm doing something that has their best interest in mind as opposed to my own. However, things were nowhere near over yet. Because as soon as I made my way back to my base, Maypick and Rochambeau logged on. And immediately, they knew what I was up to and wanted to meet me at spawn. So I put most of my duped items away and made my way to spawn to talk to my former teammates one last time. As soon as I got there, Rochambeau began questioning me. He wanted to know what I did with the four shulkers and why I stole them. So I explained that I needed to take the items for myself because I couldn't trust it in their hands anymore. So naturally, they began questioning me more. Why would it be safe in your hands? Why can't you trust us? And after a very long talk, I eventually mustered up the courage to tell them that I've been having trouble trusting them recently and that I want to leave the team. And naturally, this made them quite upset. So that's exactly when they revealed that they had multiple backup dupe stashes. This meant that the shulkers I stole were nowhere near all the duped items they had, meaning that everything I've done so far has been worthless, essentially. I stole those items for no reason. I betrayed their trust for no reason. I felt awful, but I also realized that that means that they never really trusted me to begin with. Both sides have done something behind the other side's back. Neither of us were in the right for any of this, and all of it is because of duped items. As we continued to argue on the nether roof, I began thinking back. If only I had never killed Leowook that day. If only I had never told any of them about the dupe I discovered. If only it weren't for duped items. As the talk went on, eventually we reached a boiling point. I'm not gonna what act are like the duped items I'm... doing that so okay. bad. It's just, it's not right. How are we supposed to ever lose? How are we supposed to ever win? If we're ever in the wrong on something, then they should be able to beat us and prove it to us that we are in the wrong. Beat us to prove we're in the wrong. Alright. People need to be able to beat us to prove we're in the wrong. Beat us to prove we're in the wrong, Dan. So be it. <sighs> I don't want to do this. It doesn't matter, Rome. He does. We're giving everything back. Mm, not as duped items. I don't think he has a right to those god apples.
And just like that, it was all over. At first, I wanted nothing more than to destroy my enemies and take power for myself. But in the end, all I wanted was to get rid of the power that I brought into this world. And now, after everything I've done, I was left with nothing. There was nobody on the server that I could call my ally, and there was no spawn for me to return to. Within 24 hours, I had lost the only things on the server that I cared for, and all of it was because of the items I duped. However, whether the duped items existed on the server or not was completely out of my control. I did all I could to stop it, and now I just want to be left alone. If I could spend the rest of my days here, unaffected by the rest of the server, then I think, finally, at long last, I'd be at peace. Thank you.